Surviving breast cancer is a battle. Doctors often suggest a mastectomy as the best treatment option. While it can be life-saving, it leaves behind scars that run deep, both physically and emotionally. That's why one tattoo artist is trying to heal those wounds with her ink and a needle. No family history, no risk factors. So here I was 30 with a 19 month old finding out um, I had breast cancer. Julie Austin was diagnosed with breast cancer nearly 20 years ago. I did chemo, radiation, I had seven surgeries in two years. Um, but I did do opt for a prophylactic mastectomy on the other side and had both breasts reconstructed. Now cancer free, Julie realized she never took the final step following her survival journey. You know, getting the areolas done, I think I was probably just over it at that point and I was just like having a small child I was like we just won't mess with this right now but the universe decided to put Julie in the path of Karen Alford owner of artistic permanent cosmetics and an artist with a unique way to solve Julie's problem I've been doing this about a year and a half I'm doing specifically doing Ariel is about a year and um, but I've been painting for 20 and I'm just drawing on that I'm basically taking those skills and I'm able to do something so meaningful in cases where women lose their nipples because of breast cancer, Alfred is able to recreate a nipple and the area around known as the areola. Uh, the actual tattooing is about an hour. I have you come for two hours because we visit, we relax, we do paperwork, we pick out colors. I do a lot of color matching, but the actual service is about an hour. It should be pain free. Um, so far, my ladies have had no pain. So basically, they'll get it done, they'll leave, and they'll have beautiful areolas. Then the color will set in. I'll have them come back at eight weeks. I'll see how it heals. Medical tattooing is a growing trend and one that can conceal scars and wounds, and some of which that can run emotionally deep. So to be able to do art and to be able to have it being meaningful, it changes lives. You know, we all love looking at art. To have somebody have to go through the journey they're going through and for me to be able to give them that final step and their healing, it means, it means a lot to them, but boy, it means so, so much to me. And now I'm just like, wow, you know, when I catch my reflection in the mirror, I'm happy, you know, I'm just like, this is amazing because the real, the, how realistic they look is, it's mind boggling. Oh, that is so great. Yeah, it was a really great story. You know, Julie, she's on the vine, you know, Quite a few, yeah, 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 like almost every week uh, yeah. with the Humane Society of Pulaski County. And so, uh, you know, she told me about this story and I just wanted to hear it. And you can just tell the way she talked about it and talked to me about it. It, did, it gave her so much more confidence mm -hmm. and she was like, I didn't even realize that I didn't, you know, didn't even need this, but yeah. she said it just makes me feel better. So it was just such a great oh, so good. thing. But we've got this contact information inside the story on THV11.com slash the vine. So you can go there and read a little bit more about it. Oh, I'm so glad you shared that with us, yeah. Hannah. Thank you so much.